Hi guys, this is Melanie and I just wanted to pop in and give you guys a sneak peek at the new Dayspring Agenda Planner line. Dayspring did send me this planner for the purposes of this review and so that I could give you guys, my viewers, a sneak peek of the planner. This is the Illustrated Faith Planner and so if you'll follow along with me, we're just going to jump right in and do a quick flip through of the planner. The very first page is a laminated cover page followed by um, a place for you to write your name. And you'll find a couple of these just sort of decorated yet kind of blank pages throughout. They're used for separation, but you can also use these for practicing your hand lettering or for practicing your Bible journaling. Or if you don't like to journal in your Bible, then you can do it here as well. The very first tab, and these tabs are laminated also, is 2017 to 2018. And it gives you an overview of that um, time period. It goes from July, July 2017 to December 2018. And in between each month, you'll have either an inspirational or encouraging message or a Bible verse. When we look at the first month, this is July 2017, you'll see that the month is um, broken down into different days where you can write what's happening each day. You also have a notes section, and there um, is a little June 2017 and um, August 2017 calendars over here. Each week then has a place where you can write a more detailed description of what's happening each day or things that you need to remember for those days. Um, if you take your planner like to a church service um, with you, then this is a good place to write down um, days that maybe people are in your church are having surgery or things that you need to remember, something you need to send a card to um, or people that you need to pray for each day of the week. So this is a good area to do that. And then it goes through each week of the month until you get to August. And then from there on out, each month is pretty much the same, where you get the monthly overview followed by a more um, detailed place to write your weekly um, events or to-do list. So I'll just flip through very quickly so that you can just kind of get an idea of the different patterns that are in here. And this goes all the way through to December 18. And then when we get to the last month, we have a notes tab. And this tab just has a couple of lined pages for keeping notes, a couple of graph pages, and then two blank pages. This is followed by a list of 2017 holidays that begin in July and go through December, and also a list of 2018 holidays. There's an overview of 2019 if you're planning ahead, but then we get to the really cute and fun part, which are the planner stickers that so many um, planner addicts like using to decorate their planner. There's three pages of these planner stickers, including some of these where you can write down the time for doctor's appointments and haircuts and things like that. And then there is a um, page of blank planner stickers. I like using these um, when I want to organize things by maybe event or location, like I'll maybe use the green for things that are going on at my daughter's school and maybe the blue for things that are going on in the boys' school. Um, so that makes it easy just for my eye to catch it and to see maybe what event I have to go to where. The last thing about the planner is actually one of my planner must-haves. I will not use a planner if it does not have this little pocket at the back. I love this little pocket for um, just sort of a catch-all of things I need to file away or things that I need to transfer into my planner. Maybe I'm out and about and don't have time to do that. Um, I can put receipts in here. I can put those little cards they give you at the doctor when you leave with your next appointment, things I need to sign and turn in at the kid's school, and all that makes it in here. I check it every few days, um, file the things away or put them away, and then it's empty for me to start over again. So after that, we have the back cover, which is also laminated, and it's bound very well. So that's um, the new Illustrated Faith Planner from Dayspring. Dayspring is um, giving readers a chance to win a planner as well as a $25 gift card. And this goes on through, um, I think, the middle of next week, like June the 5th or the 6th. And if you visit the link in the description, then that'll take you to the place to sign up. And um, when you sign up, you're signing up to get notification when these planners go on sale, as well as to enter the giveaway. So thanks for following along with me today, and I hope that you enjoy your planner if you decide to purchase one. Thanks. Bye-bye, guys.